Hello, this is Philip Nichols, and just a disclaimer for the video, this does not include theistic evolutionists. Okay, now that's over with. The question for the video is, do you think that anything before biological macroevolution is relevant in the evolution versus creation debate? Things like the Big Bang Theory, the beginning of space, time, matter, life. Is, is any of that relevant in the debate? In this video, I'm going to say why, why not, and then at the end, give my own personal conclusion, thoughts, whatever. So evolution versus creation is kind of a funny matchup, actually, because creation covers everything from the beginning of the universe to now but evolution does not it it when we think of evolution we think of the biological macro evolution like a fish turning into a bear of course given the time we think of that sort of thing when it's evolution and so when creationists come up to evolutionists and they have a debate Creationists tend to hold evolution to that same standard, and that's where we get the, hey, where did all this space come from? What do you think about that? A kind of thing in the debate. Let's just say for the video that evolution can happen given the million of years. Let's just say it can. I know it can't because I'm a creationist, but, but let's just say it can that does not prove evolution did happen though. Even atheists know that it takes millions upon millions of years for this stuff to happen. So you first have to prove the time. Like if I say I can eat a truckload of ice cream, of course I can, given the time. I'm gonna flip to why we shouldn't talk about these things in a creation evolution debate. And I really was looking for reasons why. I even went on a Facebook group and asked. And I got a lot of answers that were kind of off topic, but uh, mainly the only answer I got and the one that I kind of already knew is it's not evolution. That's taking something that is not on topic and you're, you're basically changing the topic. I've been looking into politics over the past year a little bit more, and it's really, really annoying in like the debates and press conferences where a reporter or the guy asking a question would ask something and then the politician would answer with something that you know. He's just avoiding the question and it's really, really annoying. I know that's a little bit different, but you get the idea. It's really annoying when you take something off topic. And I really do get that. And it doesn't really get anything done. Okay, here are my thoughts. I honestly would prefer to talk about the things that happened before. I want to talk about where or where they think the space, matter, life, time, those things come from. I want to know those sort of things. Because as I mentioned earlier, it changes from a conversation about could evolution happen to did evolution happen when you put everything into the box. And the same for creationists. When everything lines up against everything, I think that's a much more meaningful conversation in my opinion. However, I am more than happy to drop the topic if an evolutionist wants to talk about a more narrow topic. Because the important thing is we're having the conversation. And having conversations about important topics, <laughs> well, it is important. So there's no arguing that. And it's something that maybe you should talk about even before the debate might be a good idea. And listening to the other person. But hey, guys, keep having good conversations. And until my next video, I will see you guys.